Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope that you're doing well. I hope you are paying attention to what's happening. We've had a lot of energies. We've had a lot of um, portals. We've had certain things that a lot of people are talking about. But what is it ultimately meaning for you as a person? as the human angel that you are and about your future so the subject of this is hey time to give up the ghost what does that mean well that is a part of this energy okay it's giving up the ghost of the past giving up the ghost of christmas past as you uh, charles dickens fans might like to call it giving up the ghosts of old boyfriends old girlfriends old lovers, but there's more to it about the ghosts of the past. And particularly for those of you who will say, hey, have been ghosted, that person just disappeared. Okay, and there are deep reasons for things. What does some of this mean for you? Well, you have to ask yourself, what is up in the air or inside you that seems to stop your progress. This is what a lot of people are saying. And they're saying, you know, I do this, I do that, I do that, okay? For a lot of people, if you've been doing some of the work, you're experiencing a bit of rebirth, a renaissance, you're finding things are a lot on the lighter side than they would have been. But we're heading into a patch of energy that come October, for people that really haven't learned what this is about, okay, because it's not just about shacking up with someone, it's not just about having a boyfriend or having a girlfriend or a thingy on the side or something like that. It's not about being humiliated. It's not about the cosmos is playing a joke on you. It's not about someone who's trying to ruin your life. It's not about any of those things, okay? It is about progress, okay? It is about progress. So I have a short presentation that I wanna show you because this is very lonely for a lot of people. A lot of people are feeling that emotional loneliness and to the mind, the mind wants to give you solutions that may not work for you. Your mind is not sufficient for this. You know what's sufficient? Your heart. This is about your heart energy and this is about your cosmic heart. And this is about emotions. So this is some very watery, wavy, emotional energy we're in here, okay? And there's a fire, because we're still in some of the fire aspect of things. If you've been wondering what's happening, you are leaving the fourth dimension. You've been pushed out of the door of the old levels. The old party is over, but your union is just beginning. So I, I made this little diagram here to give you an idea of what actually is happening. So for a lot of you, when you've awakened, you were, became aware that things were very 3D, survivalistic, um, limited would probably be a good word. You've ascended from that. You've been in 4D with a lot of the group of souls that you may have originated from and other people, other angels, other angelic groups from all different types of origins. You hear this and not everyone clicks with each other. Some people click with each other. Some people are meeting each other. Sometimes they feel um, that there is not just family, but soul family. Okay. But you're actually going through some turbulence here to get to the new ascended level of living. That's not 5D. It's not 5D. And this has included breakups with these old levels that have also been felt as emotional meltdowns, breakdowns, mental emotional breakdowns. And it has affected several parts of you or your twin or both as you get pushed out. You're kind of getting pushed out here. Now there's another thing that happens. You sort of rise up and you come to a level. Some of you may feel that you've plateaued and sometimes that plateau can make you feel stuck. 
and it's incumbent on you to pause and wait. Come down to earth, get all your stuff sorted out, get yourself familiar with your new body and your weights because you are becoming your 5D merge selves. So this energy has included things such as broken dreams, empty promises, your confidence levels. For twin flames, this is leading to a final closure. You will feel this, it will be tangible. You will feel emotion, both of you will. And some of those emotions can feel like melancholy, emotional loneliness, a waste of time, futility. There are some very old wounds that are coming up and no longer being a ghost. However, your heart is the way to get above this worldly, earthly, down-to-earth practical responsibilities of what to do. So it is time for your high heart connections and your channels to get open. The channels are like your circulation system between you and your twin. So if you feel like you're dying on the vine, it's time to get familiar with what I help people with. And yes, surrender to love. Surrender doesn't mean roll over and play dead and say, okay, I'm going to call it a day because like it or not, your body needs to get ready. These are parts of you inside you, outside you, and upstairs, meaning right above you. The parts where you connect to each other are now coming into play. And to boot, you have individual parts that help you feel yourself, plus you have shared parts. The past must still go out in stages, and this is something nobody can run from. Although some people have gone first so that they can turn around and help people. Never, ever give up. You two love each other. Don't forget that. It may have odd ways of showing up, but there are more than 12 ways to get this done. But come and get the best, easiest way to feel, be well, live, and love each other more than another day. Come to TwinFlamesMerge.com. So I'm going to pause. So I'm back now. I hope that little presentation explained to you about levels, okay? With the levels goes energy or like currents of the ocean. Some of you feel like you're in an undertow, okay? And when you go back with retrograde energy, you'll get flung forward. What do you do? How do you gain your footing? How do you find your balance? It's through your body. How do you start yourself to breathe properly? So if you've had sensations that you have trouble breathing, heart sensations, sensations around your solar plexus, your spine, hips, shoulders, neck, headaches, come and find out about it because there are ways to alleviate this. So what I want to let you know also is that I have several things coming up. Some of these are classes. There are very old and ancient wounds that you need to process out that don't even come from earth, some of them, okay? So that you can have a semblance of health, peace. So even if you've lived with a chronic condition, okay, when you're with your twin, are you intended to live with a chronic condition? Some people do, but there are levels of healing that you're coming into now. And it hasn't been possible until starting because the full complement wasn't available until fairly recently. It wasn't available five years ago, 10 years ago. It's a very recent thing. Okay, so um, to help you with this, I have an online class. I have part three of my Divine Feminine Love, part three, um, either Friday or Sunday morning. That is August 31st, or uh, I think it's sorry, September 2nd. Okay, I help people on a one on one basis with readings, energy work, and body work. And yes, I feel and I feel you and the energy of your twin and where some of these sticky spots are. What seems to stop you? What's the block? I help you with that. Now, there is something else to know that as a Rod and Staff Union, I am a teacher. I'm a prototyper of the template of relationship for 5D. I also have very uh, much over the past year 
made my connection to the higher dimension. So I'm actually doing this from a different level. I'm not doing it from the fourth dimension, not even doing it from the old fifth dimension. And yes, there was an old fifth dimension. So if you clicked with places like the Pallades, Sirius, Antares, Arcturus, um, Venus, Earth civilization such as Lemuria, Atlantis, ancient Egypt at the beginning of it, then that's the old level. There's a brand new one. We're only, you, you have to, you have to match up and power up to get there so you can launch. And I, I hear you, I hear people saying, but I want to match up. We talked about it. Okay, there's no talking with this. Some of you are using your mouth for the wrong things. You need to use your mouth for kissing. Okay, and I want to get you there. I want to get you to the kissing part. So several other things on September 15th here in Chicago, I have a one-day intensive at the Infinity Foundation, nine to four. This is very reasonably priced. It's $80. It offers five and a half continuing education credits. The link is below for that. So that's just the first of many classes that I have. So I teach, not just online, but I teach in person, hands-on, with my magic hands, with my talented hands. Yes, I do. Okay, and I have a very broad base of experience because I started by doing body work. I started by removing energies from people. That's how I know stuff. And, you know, whether we call it stuff or we call it knowledge, you need the experience to be able to. Now, that brings me to my next thing. If you're interested in learning from me how to do some of this, I am going to California. Okay, and I do have a class in Chicago. So class in Chicago is over Columbus Day weekend, the 6th, 7th, 8th, this is a three-day class, and California, here I come. Okay, there's a lot of people that I've talked to in California. There's a lot of twin flames in California. Certain areas I've found are just a hotbed of twin flames. London's one of them. Going to get to you, London. Going to get to New York and Miami and Hawaii and Arizona, okay? But first things first, I am going to California. California, here I come. Now, the space will hold so many people, so if you are interested in joining the class, $30 reserves your spot as a deposit. That is not until October, towards the end of October, okay? I will be in California. I gotta get a babysitter. <laughs> so, you know, this has to be worth it for everyone. Win, 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 win. You will walk away learning and knowing. And I'm going to, I'm going to not just, we're going to do some stuff here. The last class I had in Chicago, we had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, a lot of releasing, and a lot of knowledge, okay? Experiential knowledge, because that's how it sticks. You have to experience it. How did you ever know what twin flames were? You didn't know it with your head. You didn't even know the words before. You had a sensation that traveled in your body. You had something that went, whoo, all up and down you, okay? It traveled up your spine. It sent rushes of love and energy through your body. That's how you knew. That's the experience. That's the feeling. That's what I want to get you back to. Get you back to the feeling. Not just the love and feeling. Not just you know, we're hunky binky having breakfast in bed. Of course, you're going to have breakfast in bed. Of course. But you have a body that enables you to really launch some things. Okay, one of the other things we talk about is mission. Okay, what do you feel to do? How do you want to help humanity? How do you want, the first thing is put yourself together. Put your, get yourself to a level like I was showing you. Not the level here the level here. There will still be people helping here. You know who helps here? The medical community, because by the time it gets to that level, it's physical, okay? And don't knock the people in the medical community, because a lot of them are twin flames. I'm a little tired of all the bashing going on. No man bashing, no women bashing. We're all in this together. A house divided against itself will fall, okay? And that is true of your twin flame union. 
if you are against your twin, you will fall apart. Because why? It falls apart. You can't sustain that against each other feeling. You can't stay angry. You also can't stay sad. So the melancholy, the loneliness, is this a waste of time? What did I do? You know, what's going on? I don't get it. Okay, come and find out. Because the main thing is, is when you start experiencing, okay, and you come out from under that level, and you can actually see, okay, you're not taking things on blind faith then. You're actually seeing and experiencing. That's where I like to get you to. So that class is at the Gateway in Los Angeles. Also, two of my webinars, very helpful for this time. Surrender to Love and Leaving the Fourth Dimension. This is a four part. This has much in it about sleeping in your new body if you have had trouble sleeping. If you wanna find out how to uh, begin getting yourself up, if you're struggling with it, if you feel like something is holding you down, pressing you down, pressure here, pressure here, or inside, or your shoulders, your neck, come and find out, okay? Or come to my online class. So I am available also for readings, energy work, and live energy work here in my studio in Chicago. So I hope that while we are talking about some things, I want to make it clear. I don't like to see anybody there, okay? There's things to talk about. There's things that people say about darkness is keeping twins apart. No, it isn't. It's fear, okay? Fear can be felt as a low vibe, and hence it can feel dense, and it can feel a bit dark, especially if people are thinking things, especially if people don't know what to do. How do you get yourself out from under that old level, especially if you're getting pushed, okay, take the hint, okay, because that energy can feel like people are being mean to you, people are being mean to your twin, are they doing something that they need to be pushed out of, you might pick up on it, okay, help your twin, you love each other, okay, who is affecting you too, and how do you never get affected again, it's through your body, so thanks so much for watching. The links are below, or you can email me or check my website at twinflamesmerge.com or twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you there. I look forward to seeing a lot of you in California. Thank you so much. Bye.